If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. It's probably obvious that making a mistake isn't the end of the world, and you should always try and pick yourself up by your bootstraps and keep going forward. We have probably all heard the popular phrase, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. We hear it from a very early point in our lives, and yet the meaning doesn't always stick. This can be true for a number of reasons, but probably most especially due to the embarrassment and shame that we feel when we are faced with our own shortcomings. As mentioned previously in this training, humans have a negativity bias that makes it very difficult for us to see negative events objectively. They are viewed as more significant and easier to remember than positive events. That is why it is so much more important that we continue to keep trying and do everything within our power to prevent viewing ourselves as failures. Being a failure is not a part of your identity. It is not a part of anybody's identity. Failure is task-related and simply that. If a task fails, we can shrug it off and try again or take an alternative approach. If it succeeds, then we can feel great about our progress and continue to move forward. Either way, we can still move forward. That is the important thing to remember here. Of course, it is only natural that as humans we have an adverse response to failure. When a task that we are working on fails and we feel as if we are never going to reach our goals, that is a valid feeling. You are allowed to feel that way. It is actually very dangerous for you to deny the fact that you feel that way. Instead, you could express your emotions in the journal that was recommended for you to keep in earlier steps or to talk to somebody about the way your failure is making you feel. What is important here is to express what you are feeling so that you don't end up bottling it up. When you bottle up feelings like this, you start to internalize your feelings of failure and begin to identify yourself as a failure who embodies all of the negative qualities that you're feeling and not expressing. When you don't express and process your emotions properly, then this can lead to some dangerous situations. If you start to think that you are good for nothing, or you take all of your frustration and anger about your failure out on somebody who doesn't deserve it, then you are only going to start feeling much, much worse. Those feelings are completely unnecessary. What is important for you to do is to process your failures through meditation or journaling or by speaking to somebody else about those feelings. Make sure that you are not simply letting yourself believe that you are never going to succeed simply because you ran into a challenge. Sure, those challenges can be downright discouraging, but that does not mean that you are never going to succeed. Always remind yourself of that. And if you have to, dedicate an entire page of your journal towards things that can help to lift you up and boost your spirit when you're feeling discouraged by a failure. The key to achieving your goals is in never giving up. No matter how cliched it sounds, that is the truth. You will never succeed if you give up the first time you are challenged. You will never succeed if you give up the 50th time you are challenged. You have to know when and when not to give up. The next step will help you understand how to do that. In the meantime, remember that you should always keep trying and looking for alternatives when you find yourself up against the wall and feeling as if your plan is going nowhere. Let it out. Express it. And then when you are starting to feel better and regroup, give it another shot. You will be glad that you did. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.